This is the devotional reading for day 10. From 40 Days, Prayers and Devotions to Revive Your Experience with God by Dennis Smith. The title for today's reading is Man Created to Wait on God. Man was created to be a vessel to be used by God. Through man, God can manifest his power and goodness on this earth. Man does not contain power or goodness by himself. He is completely dependent on his Heavenly Father. We were created to be dependent on God for all things. Yet because we do not realize our absolute helplessness, we do not see more of God's power in our lives. We tend to have no sense of our need for absolute and unceasing dependence on God in everything. God pointed out this problem of independence in his message to the last church living on earth, the Laodicean church. Quote, because you say, I am rich, have become wealthy, and have need of nothing, and do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. End quote. Revelations chapter 3 verse 17. God wants to impart to us everything we need. Quote, but of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that as it is written, he who glorifies, let him glory in the Lord. End quote. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30 and 31. He wants to give us his nature, character, life, strength, and wisdom. However, the daily baptism of the Holy Spirit is necessary for this to happen. Why? Because it is through the baptism of the Holy Spirit that Jesus lives in us. And it is through Jesus that we have all these things that God wants to provide for us. We limit God by our indifference, impatience, and self-effort. In making life's decisions, we often impetuously decide without even asking or waiting for God to reveal His will to us. Not only do we make our own decisions about life, but we also decide where we want to serve God and how we want to do it, rather than asking God to reveal to us where He can use us most effectively for His glory. When we are close to God and have learned to wait on Him, He will guide us in service for Him. If we don't learn the lesson of waiting on God, we will find that much of what we have done has been motivated by our own thoughts and plans, not God's. If we have done this, then in the end we will discover too late that much of what we have done has come to naught. Quote, now, if anyone builds on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each one's work will become clear. For the day will declare it, because it will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test each one's work of what sort it is. If anyone's work which he has built on it endures, he will receive a reward. If anyone's work is burned, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved, yet so as through fire. End quote. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 12 through 15. Waiting on God does not come naturally. From childhood onward, we learned that we must do for ourselves if we are to achieve our goals. At least in the Western world, we are taught that we are to be independent and self-sufficient. With God, it is just the opposite. We are to look to God for all things. This doesn't mean that effort is not involved. Once we know God's will, it will take effort and sacrifice to carry out the mission He has given us. Yet even in this, we are to be dependent on God for wisdom, guidance, and strength. For the Christian to have this kind of relationship with God, he must daily spend time with God through prayer and Bible study. 
he must maintain a moment-by-moment -moment communion, quote, pray without ceasing, end quote. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Personal Reflection and Discussion Why do Christians not see more of God's power in their lives? Question 2. How much of what we need does God desire to impart to us? Question three, in what ways do we limit God in our life and service for him? Question four, if we are serving God with our own plans and methods, what will be the outcome of our efforts? Have you experienced this type of outcome before? Prayer activity. Call your prayer partner and discuss this devotional with him or her. Pray with your prayer partner. One, for God to baptize you with his Holy Spirit. Two, for God to revive you and his church. Three, for God to forgive you for not depending on him as he desires you to. Four, for God to lead you to look to him for all things in life and service. And five, for the individuals on your prayer list. Dear Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the ability to do your will. Like David, we have made some bad decisions in our lives, some more serious than others, but bad nonetheless. Today, we call upon your name because we want to confess our sins. We truly are sorry and we seek your forgiveness. We are sorry for disobeying your will and for hurting others. Please, we desire to have you make us new today. Forgive us in a manner in which only you can. Strengthen our resolve to follow your will and run to you with open arms. Send an outpouring of your love on us today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.